no matter what boxing game you're playing, you're going to run into people that just simply refuse to take a single step forward. I've just recently cracked the code on how to beat players like this, and in this video, I'm giving you a three-step process that's going to help you never lose to another runner again. But first, I want you to know I'm giving away a free copy of Undisputed every time one of my Undisputed videos hits 500 likes. All you got to do to enter is comment on this video, and if it hits 500 likes, I'll pin one of the comments and give that person a free game. The first thing you want to do is not follow the runner, but instead try to get the runner to follow you. The way you can do this is by going to the outer edge of your opponent's punching range and then throwing a feint or maybe just a naked jab, and this is going to tempt them to counter you, but since you're expecting this, you're going to be in position to counter their counter. Now that you're up on the judge's scorecards, you should utilize lateral movement, and since the runner knows he's down on the cards, this is essentially going to force him out of his shell and he's going to have no choice but to come forward. But let's just say that you don't get ahead on the scorecards, and now the runner is free to ride that bicycle around the ring. Here's what to do next. The first way is to make it seem like you're walking right into one of their jabs. But just as they throw their jab, slip to either the left or the right and throw a hook. For the second counter, you want to once again walk toward them and make them think you're about to attack, and then just at the right moment, Click your left analog stick backward and press Y to do a pull counter. Now those two ways work great and all, but this third way is far more practical and will land at a much higher percentage. The third and final way is called the catch and release counter. This is when you block your opponent's punch and right at the second where you block it, you return with a shot of your own. If you do it properly, you'll get a counter animation flash like you see on your screen. Now that you know what the catch and release counter is, let me tell you how to specifically use it against a runner. The first thing you want to do is work on cutting off the cage and trapping them against the ropes or in a corner. Once their back starts to get close to the outer edge of the ring, 9 times out of 10, they're going to start throwing punches. And if they don't, you could feint or jab in order to bait them into throwing punches. One of my favorite ways to execute a block counter is to first block the punch and then start a combo off with the straight right. I would encourage you to play around with this mechanic and see which shots land the best after blocking different shots. So, a quick recap of today's lesson. First, get your opponent to follow you around the ring, either by using lateral movement or feinting to bait them forward. Second, use counters like the pull counter, the slip counter, and by far the most effective, the block counter. In order to use these counters against a runner, you're going to need to pretend like you're on the attack and then at the perfect moment, slip and perform your counter. Remember, if you want to enter for a free game, just press like and leave a comment on this video. I'll pin the winner once I hit 500 likes.